Good afternoon, I am Takamasak, and welcome back to hopefully an oopsie free episode on Let's Play Dragon Quest V. So I had to cut off the last about three or so minutes of my video because my controller died. That was where my oopsie was. Uh, take note of this, by the way. There's three treasures in here. There's a ring of prayer, which recovers your MP a little bit with each use. There's a, I think it's called the naughty underwear, which only whoever you married can equip. And there was also a Hat of Happiness, I believe. Stasia might be using it. It recovers MP with every step, so uh, that's really the only thing that cut, cut out off-screen uh, alongside all the shopping I did. And But yeah, anyway, uh, that died, and then I had a real smooth brain time. I unplugged my microphone, and I didn't notice that. So the last three minutes of that video was just me going... Real big brain time round here. Real, real, uh, real big brain. But as you can see, I did a little bit of level grinding as much as I really cared to do. I was getting bored. And Stasi, I got up to 32, so it's not terrible. I mean, there's a, probably a little better grinding spot later, but if you want to go after the metal enemies. But maybe there will be some on the way. I'm just going to use this party from here on out. Because there's only... Uh, so much left in the game, so. I'm gonna come in here, take a nap, and then I will go over what I purchased in terms of. I can't remember where they. Oh, it's right on the outside. Oh, there's something else out here I gotta get anyway. Um. Yeah, I spent. I completely emptied out my vault to the best of my knowledge. I think I took all the money out of there, sold everything, used all the seeds, and put some of the more worthless crap like the grappling hook and stuff back in there that we're not going to use. And I'm left with $1,000. Now we're left with $665, which is a pittance. An absolute pittance from what we've had before. So, But anyway, there's one thing I need to do out here yet before we leave Shahana, is you can sneak around the outskirts of this place. And if you don't mind traipsing all the way around, you can find the Magic Key Shop. No, that's a different Dragon Quest game. That was so long ago, man. Dragon Quest 1. Okay, it doesn't matter. But you get a small medal over here. If you would like to have more of those, well, there you go. Hell yeah. I don't even think I have enough to get a Miracle Sword again. I don't even care anymore at this point. I can just steal Piers. And if you come down here, there is another Kandar's Henchman. I know of the two. I don't know if there's a third one, but here's yet another Kandar's henchman. We're just going to go manual and homie here. Um, no, just just fight him. That's fine. I'm going to try to play it. Oh, yeah, the Kandar's henchman with the blacked out status. He's actually guarding a unique item. I think like the last one was. I don't even remember what the last one had at this point. Don't you dare. I don't think it'll work anyway, because everybody's got the Elven Amulet equipped. Literally everybody has the Elven Amulet equipped. Alright, let's yoink this from him. Toodles what he's doing here, I don't know. And we get the Sands of Time, which I believe will start a battle over. How the hell did he do that? ID clip, huh? Okay, gotcha. Alright, just going quickly over my... Uh... Actually, let's go back in town. That's a little more pleasant music. All right, let's take a look. Uh, this is going to be pretty much my final setup. Uh, the flame boomerang I have just to get through battles a little quicker. Uh, when it comes to boss battles, I'll probably switch it over back to either the Sword of Miracles or the the uh, Dragon Staff there for him. Uh, all the Zenithian stuff for him is fine. I, like I said, I got a Shield Reflection, Shield of Reflection. And I put the happy Head of Happiness on her just to get that little boost of recovery. Her Staff doesn't matter. You can really equip her whatever you want there. I wonder if she can't equip the dragon stuff. I don't think he changed. Uh, I had enough money to get him a big bow gun. That is the only thing I've seen Golemath be able to equip. And we got him a Helm of Wisdom a long time ago. Sword Edge, Sword Edge Armor is fine. I got him a Blizzard Sword. That was the last purchase I was able to make. I think he can equip whatever was in there that was stronger, but that's what I had money for. I gave him the Demon Claw, and Gandalf is just there specifically to heal, so... That's pretty much it. And like I said, everybody is equipped with an elven amulet. 
because they're only 3,000. Well, almost everybody. Not so much Golomath, I guess. Uh, yeah, I should probably put that on Golomath, actually. Oh, he does have one. I'm not paying attention. He had the Snake Sword before, but yeah, he got a really big uh, bonus damage increase with that. So Stasia is going to be doing all the healing. If you can put whatever helmet you want on her. Whatever your preference is, it really doesn't matter. But it seemed redundant to have the both the Golden Crown and the Elven Amulet both reducing status. And if we get some levels on the way, that'd be great too, but if it happens, cool. If not, whatever. Alright, here's a relatively... well, I mean, they're all going to be fairly large battles. I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing with one battle. Stasia, every single round, she's just going to use the Sage of Stone to keep everybody topped off there. Nothing too dangerous out here. Get two. <laughs> two. <laughs> what a big loser. Yeah, hopefully she can prevent anyone from dying. It might be... Nah, I'm just going to stick with the Flame Boomerang. Because it's going to do so much damage at this point. It's a little annoying to see everybody get healed every time, but... What can you do? Crunch, crunch. Look at that. 111 damage throughout that battle. Pretty good, bro. Pretty good. Every single round. That's also why she has the Meteorite Bracer. Situations like this, I'll probably have to heal her after battle, but... Hopefully it doesn't kill her. Saw that coming a mile off. I didn't end up getting the the Staff of Vivication, or Revival, or whatever the hell it was called, just because it was so expensive. And you can only use it in battle anyway, so... So what up, skis? Oh, I got a defense seat down here I didn't use yet. Ooh, big deaths. Alright, what's the chances this is gonna go on the first take? Oh, look at the Vivify action! Hot damn. Alright. Very useful skills, but like I said, and I completely forgot what I was saying after that long-ass battle. No matter. Onward and upward, as they say. I believe there's something around here. Ah, here we have some Gigantes. I believe these are one of the last enemies you can recruit in this game. I'd assume they're pretty typical. They have the chance to get the critical hits, but other than that, I don't think they have anything glorious. Ow, Jesus, can you, they hurt. They actually, they hurt quite a bit, as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact. Let's try to get one or two out of the battle this round. That'd be terrific. Ha! There we go. Will you stop doing that fucking 200 damage thing? How am I supposed to counter that? Probably by healing is what normal people would do, but... Nah, let, let's not go crazy with the... Yeah, she could really cast by kill, too. Yeah, use your huge feet. Don't charge at me. That, that's very painful. I'm gonna roll the dice. And hopefully, uh, she doesn't get murdered. But they love to murder. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. So watch out for these guys. They can do a disgusting amount of damage in one round. Yeah, trample with large feet all you want, friend. 23 hundo, and Golomath gets to 17. Neat. May or may not ever see him in action. I don't know if there's a thing down here. No, maybe that's in the DS version that there's something down there. And here we have some <laughs> Bazox. I don't remember what Bazox do. I don't even, didn't even remember these were a thing, honestly. Let's find out together. If their counterpart from the... Oh. Really, bro? Is that how we doing? Is that how we do? You want me to go get... You want me to go get him out of the... Okay, okay, that's what we're doing now. That's just annoying. That's not... <laughs> Come on, man. That ain't no strategy. We think I'm going to be too lazy to get him back out of the wagon. I mean, they're, they're not entirely wrong, but... I mean, he's still gonna get the experience, so I don't know what, I don't know what, what, what his deal is with that. I just okay. Can we murder this thing, please? Please. Thank you. Lord. Not even worth. Let me make absolutely sure there's nothing on the outside here. I'm gonna 
Hit up a step guard. It's only two whatevskis. Alright, screw it. Let's just go up and find out what's in here. Into the gaping maw of doom. Ooh, those are pretty. I want one. Alright, uh, here's some. I believe these will damage you if you step on them, so you can go around if you like. Alternatively, if you're lazy like I am, you can cast the old step guard and just walk right on the spikes of death. Yeah, that's how we do. Oh, oh maybe they're not spikes. I'm pretty sure they're spikes of death. Uh, okay, they're very well hidden, but there are some pots right here. Uh, make sure everybody's healed. I don't remember how strong these were. These are demon jaws or an urnite. Whichever one you prefer to call it. I prefer to call it an urnite. Uh, Rufus by killed is pretty mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. I think these guys can confuse you. And I don't remember what else they do. Maybe nothing. <laughs> it, apparently it laughs at you. Wait, it missed me and it, it's trying to intimidate me by laughter. But as with everything else, these guys should drop a small metal. I-I-R-C. I know there's some kind of bug. I don't know exactly how it works out. But you do notice that these things stay here. Oh, maybe they don't. Maybe the other one, the other one's under night too. I thought they dropped a small metal. Um, there's some type of bug where if there's a mimic there, somehow you can get it to give you infinite small metals. Nothing I'm going to take advantage of because I don't even need any more. But and here we have a new dude, a lion X. If you thought I remember what these guys do, you're dead wrong. I remember Bazuzu's have farewell, so I would like to get rid of him. And then how much worse could these guys possibly be? I think we're close to... Actually, we're fine. Just fight. Uh, we're close to getting rid of the Gigantes. I think once you get up into the dungeon a little bit, they go away. Hey! Nice. I'm just trying to preserve a little bit of MP. I don't think anybody's up. Pierre might be 40, but we'll spirit and the uh, Buzuzu. I keep wanting to call him Puzuzu. That's a different game. Lion X, pretty easy. Nothing too special about those guys. Uh, do we want to investigate here? I'd like to take the first one, but uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's going to be a staircase there. I know it. I knew it. I knew it. Called it a mile off. I know it's the end of the game. I really shouldn't worry that much about it. Well, let me peek in here. Nothing! Battle! Stasia leveled up to 34 there. He's probably just had to take the south path down here. Uh, yeah, that's how... Uh, technically, that would be the first... It is all about the bazoozus and evil spirits down here. Not a hard battle, just obnoxious a little bit. Alright, what did I miss in here? The Robe of Darkness. I think the game heard me talking shit, because... It is all about the Springer all of a sudden. <laughs> Ah, you're tired of that, huh? Well, here's something else, you bastard. I kind of want to heal, but I kind of want to buy kill Rufus, too. I'll show every, a battle every now and then, but... Wait, did he go first? That was the first time I've seen him go before Stasia. My girl got the meteorite bracer on. She's still slower than Rufus. Bro. Smack, smack. Yeah, it is absurdly good when you have a boomerang and buy kill. Almost a little OP, I'd, I'd put a wager on. Well, at least there's only one option here. Clunk, 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 clunk. Ooh, spoopy. Where are we at? Ooh, hey. Isn't this the same texture they used in 4 when you were nearing the end of the game? Could be wrong, but... And here we have a... Well, he, he's changed colors since 3, right? He's uh, He's brown now. But here's some Putragons. We're gonna do that. I probably could throw up a barrier. Because no doubt they have their icy breath, but apparently they go down relatively quickly compared to how they did, so... I'm sure he's got some frigid breaths. We're not gonna find out. They just go and die. Easy. Golemath gets to 18. Neat. There you go. Good old 10 HP. Oh, 
which way is that? Old oh, treasure. Love me some treasure, baby. Can I get there? Let me get there. Oh, we got there. And it's... Oh. Ah, uh, here's our old enemy, the, uh, the Dark Shaman. Yep, they're in here. Endgame enemy. Don't forget to murder him first, because he's got revivifications type deals. Other than that, pretty straightforward battle. Get him. Okay. Nothing too spoopy again. Still got that sassy horse, though. Can't tell me that's not a sassy ass horse. That's a sassy ass horse. Oh dear. I need to keep taking the first path. That seems to be the way to go about things. Every time I do not take the first path, see, it would have led to treasure and I would have not gotten the. Hey, good! Throw it on the pile, or throw it on his pile. I don't really need it anymore, but. Send it on over to bad boy there. Somewhere around here you can start running up with liquid metal slimes and then king metals. I don't know exactly where. So, keep an eye out for that, I guess. I'm not going to wait around and hunt them down in this particular dungeon, but... They are a thing you... Oh, hey! It's the old 4 throwback. Well, you know a lot of stuff from 4. They like... Hey! Hey, how you doing? How y'all doing? Oh, we look fine. Who dares trespass these grounds? Lady Martha is busy giving prayer to the demon Lord Mildrath. Those who disturb her shall be destroyed. And here we have two blue bitch... Er, okay, they're not blue at all. They're very purple, as a matter of fact. Okay, well, go ahead and buy kill Papa. Plonk. I'll get that out of here. Fire Volt doing 20 damage. That is pathetic. More pathetic than anything we've ever seen. Unless it's the black dragon trying to breathe flames. That's kind of sad, too. Excuse me. Coming through. Mama? Mama, is that you? So after all this time, we finally meet Martha. Well, yeah. I got the grandbabies. Yeah, you've been gone a while. Right? Check out them guns. Like this freaking... <laughs> I think he was really gonna go. Okay, ma, bye. Okay. Yeah, just leave that wagon dangling precariously off the ledge. That's fine. Okay. Don't you do that! Don't wait till I get to you and then kill yourself. Not cool, Martha. You know... Nah. Nah, he's fine. I think it's too late there. Uh... What's that? That is enough, Martha. You have done all you can. Hey, homeboy! It's homeboy Papas. Hell yeah, Papas ain't got shit. I mean, he could attack twice. Can you imagine attacking twice per round with a boomerang? Well, there you go. Both ghosty boos are on their way out of here. Okay. As long as I don't have to pray at the final battle or anything. Thanks, bro. That, that's it? No MP refill or nothing? Okay. I like how he was just gonna... He was just content to leave after Martha's like, Yeah, go ahead. It's been... He hasn't seen her his whole... You know, never mind. Uh, we're gonna leave that there and we'll continue on from here next time. Let's play Dragon Quest V. I'm Tom Sock. See you later.